Hello everyone, welcome to the 8th video on Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. This video is a continuation of the previous video which was about roles. In the previous video, I explained about the concepts. Here I will be explaining on how to use those concepts in Keyclock system. Let's get started. Now I am in the admin console. You can see I am inside the realm named Hexadefense. On the left pane, you can see the roles menu item. I am visiting that page. Here you can see there are two tabs named Realm Roles and Default Roles. Using the Realm Roles tab, we can create Realm Roles. Now I am going to create a new Realm Role. I name it as simple role. Save it. I just created a realm role named simple role. A role can have attributes and also it shows the users in a particular role. In this case, there are no users since this role is not assigned to any user yet. Now I am going to create a composite role. Again I am going to the roles page. Add role. Name it as composite role. I need to enable the composite role switch in order to make it a composite role. Once that switch is enabled, another tab appears. From that you can assign associated roles with this composite role. Here you can assign either realm roles or client roles. I will come to client roles in a short while. Now I assign the newly created simple role to this composite role. Okay, It is automatically saved. Now I again visit to the roles page. There's another tab named default tab. Using default tab, you can assign roles to newly created users automatically. It can be realm roles or client roles. There are already two default roles provided by Keyclock as offline access and UMA authorization. Now I'm going to show you how to create client roles. In order to create client roles, I need to visit clients page. I am going to create an OpenID Connect client. Name it as Simple Client. Save it. Now I am inside the client detail page. You can see the roles tab. Using that, we can create client roles. Now I am going to create a new client role. Add role. I name it as simple client role. Save it. It is also same as realm roles. You can have composite roles as well. Let's talk about how to assign them to users or groups. For that, I will visit users page using the left pane menu item users. I have already created a user named hexa. We can easily assign roles to this user using role mappings tab. In realm roles section, there are two available roles and already assigned roles. Available roles are the ones we created earlier. Assigned roles are the ones which were marked as the default roles by the Keyclock system. Effective roles show the all roles mapped to the user including inherited roles through composite roles. Now I am going to add the newly created composite role. Now you can see assigned role section has only three roles, but effective role section has four roles, including the inherited role from the composite role. Same thing applies for the client roles as well. 
For user groups also, roles can be assigned in the same way. Let's move to the groups page. I have already created a group named Hexa group. It also has a role mapping tab which works the same way as the role mapping tab in the user detail page. Once a role is assigned to a group, all the users of that group inherit that particular role. Once roles are assigned, JW tokens and SAML assertions generated on behalf of the user contain these roles according to the default configuration. But if you need to include roles selectively or exclude roles, you can do that using client configuration tabs. We can talk about them in future videos. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you have any concerns, please put them in the comment section. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.